Hello and welcome. This is a video from the Madison Lake Highlands volcanic area east of Mount Shasta in Northern California. So this Madison Lake volcano is a volcano on its own right, but it's not as prominent in the landscape as Mount Shasta is. This is this is uh, <coughs> spread out over a, a wide area and there are many lava tubes and uh, individual cones and cinder cones and buttes and uh, leftovers from the volcano, little craters everywhere. Uh, this time we're just going underground again in one of the caves that you can see alongside the, the forest road there. And <clears throat> first a close-up of the, the ceiling of the cave. As you can see it's not a solid block, it's individual blocks that are held together and so over time these um, tunnels collapse And this was an interesting one because here we clearly you can see that there are two layers or two uh, cavities on top of each other. Now at the at the bottom of the screen you'll see uh, that's a ceiling in between two cavities. So above it is a cavity and below it is a cavity. And I'll go inside the cavity below that dividing ceiling. Because that's the that's the natural pathway so to speak over while navigating the rocks. So in this in this area there are some caves, they are called ice caves, because even in the hot summer they stay cool um, because of um, the airflow apparently and uh, the ice that has formed in the winter time will remain icy for a long time. Well this cave, although it was pretty cold inside, it wasn't truly an ice cave. There was a little bit of ice formation uh, there at the bottom, but not much. Not not as uh, prominent as in the, the more famous Jot Dean ice cave that's in this area. And I have a separate video about that cave. There you find uh, clearly ice inside, but here it was minimal. So I'm going down. And here the distance between this dividing ceiling and the ground level is about six feet, maybe seven. So it's easy to walk here. It's pretty big. But as I found out in a little bit, these the ground here this is covered with big boulders, so it's a matter of climbing over one from one to the other and if you fall, which I did one time, you can uh, You can get a nice 
cut on your arm or legs because these stones, these rocks are sharp and pointy and so if you ever go to this area be careful when you go inside here So I brought two video lights this time, one that is just um, mounted underneath my camera, so I'm always pointing in the direction that the camera is in, and one uh, headlamp so I can see where I put my feet. Because without lights, this is just pitch dark here. So this cave, it didn't uh, lead anywhere. There was no tunnel and no um, connection going deeper. I'm just trying to show some more of the the rocks, the ceiling. The wall. And then the the rocks on the floor. Some moss on these rocks. And then we're looking back to the up to the entrance where we came in. And again, the, the height of this intermediary ceiling is about seven feet, so it's easy to stand here. But there's not too much to see here, so slowly making my way out again trying to climb the, the bigger and smaller boulders so those like the dimensions of those boulders is like between one and let's say three feet in diameter Again, showing the walls and the ceiling to, to give the sense that this is not solid rock. This is, these are all 
bits and pieces of rock that um, are likely to collapse sometime in the future as well. Again, that's the lower level and the ceiling in between. But turning around again to go climb up and out. You can see from the movement of the video that I have to take big steps to climb from one rock to another. So here we are outside again, well, almost. I'm going slow here because this was a narrow ridge to navigate. To get to the, the top part of this side. Finally, made it outside, and I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day, as we take a last look around above ground.